Hello and welcome back to Maple Farm. It's now late July. The year is racing away from us. You join me in our, I'm going to call it our squad rower. I don't know if that's what it's called. I forget what it's called. It's the Heston 8450. And uh, yeah, it, it wind rows. So squads, squad rower, wind rower. It's a grass car. I'm heading up to our big grass meadow that we brought recently. And we're going to be cutting that, rolling that up for fresh cut grass to put straight into our cows later today. So hopefully they'll be able to get that done for us. And then we'll be heading back to the farm looking to get our harvest started. Uh, we've got bales to start collecting. We've got some baling to do. We've got a busy day, people. We've got a busy day. Well, they're all set up. They're running. That was... Uh, <laughs> quite some walk. They're way off over there. Anyway, we need to get the Rostel Mash over to the oat field. We need to get that moving on. So we need to get these harvests in. We need to get the oat in the grist mill so we can start making grain grist. I ain't gonna lie, I don't even know what grist is. I think that must be like a German word for something else. I might have to research it. But it's just, uh, it's just a grain mix put them in, you blend, it grinds them all up, blends it together and that's what goes into the feed. So I've saved this bit of the journey because we've not really taken the trip down to the oat field. I think we did it when we went to have a look. I'm not sure if I cut that out, I can't remember now. It seems ages ago that we brought it and it really was. It's down here on the right. This is also going to make sure we can get through into it. If we can't then I'll be pretty screwed. But we should be able to get through nice and easy. Cav's pretty good. Made some, got these nice lanes and through fares and that to get to all the different fields. And it, it makes it feel tight, twisty, and narrow without being too tight, twisty, and narrow. Again, it's just one of the one of those things I really like about this map. I am a fan. You might have noticed, hence with the hundred plus episodes, but I am a fan of the map. Yeah, we've got some simple shaped fields, we've got some awkward shaped fields, and it's just all so fairly shared now. Pretty sure, ah, that might be our oak field out in front. So it's down there somewhere. I think that's our oak field. So we might have to drop our header off in someone else's field to get the job done. Let's see what sort of space we've got. Oh no, we've got loads of room. This is definitely us, though. Should we check? <laughs> definitely us, but I'm not certain. Because I'm a bit of a pleb. Right, yep, yeah, there we are. Definitely not maybe. Oh yeah, loads of them. We can drop it off and then pick it up. We'll just have to uh, nip into a bit of bush. I think that leads into a farm as well there, yeah. See, every bit of land that we now buy, we're pretty much taken away from another farm. I might have to uh, get my muscles out and pull that header along so I can attach to it. It's on wheels, so that's a doable thing. That's not too unrealistic, is it? To think that we might be strong enough to pull something on wheels. Come you along, lad. Oh, in a bush, in a bush. Are we close enough? That'll do. Three quid we're playing. Pay oh, we're paying the thirty-three pounds. Are we paying the squad rower? Thirty-three pounds an hour, and that's with a reduced payment rate. Is somebody pay me thirty-three pound an hour? Now, is that bush, that hedgerow, going to play ball? Looks pretty close. We'll, uh, we'll see what we can do with course play. We're going to have to drive on a little bit. We'll see what we can do. We'll uh, stick with the two headlands. Let's find our field somewhere out here. Did I do it? Did you do it? I did. Did it. As my little boy would say. Did it. Normally when he's done something he shouldn't. Right, so... 
Off you go, sir. You do your thing. And now, uh, I'll head back to the farm, get some trailers, and when I come back, you better not be stuck in them bloody trees. So we've already set a guy up to follow in the Fiat, because we're going to take both of them out to the oak field to save uh, transport runs. Put your foot down, mate. We'll just have to turn around in the meadow. Meadow? Meadow? Christ almighty, put your teeth in. It's going to be one of them days, isn't it? It's that recording. Right. I'm going to blame it on doing all the recording and trying to do the live streams and trying to be more sociable with the festive holidays and all that palaver that I'm running, running out of uh, audible skills. Man can't speak. That's what I'm putting it down to. I was then about to reach to my left and have a cup of coffee, but I try not to do that whilst recording. So we'll get these down to the farm. You don't need to follow me doing that. And uh, we'll see if we've got a surprise of a worker in a tree or in a field. Well, would you look at that? He's not in the tree. He's made that tight turn. What a tree. What an absolute legend. 10 points for Gryffindor. Love it. Right. Got me all my bright lights on. Must have left them on all night. Crazy man that I am. Now how full do you reckon he is as he come past? I don't have the uh, spy. I don't like too much stuff on the screen. So you've got all these mods where I could just look at it and it would tell me, you know, how much is in it. It's just full and all that palaver. But I don't like all that on the screen. I don't like a lot of clutter. As I've said before, I don't really like having the HUD on. But I know some people like to see all that. They like to see that the money's there and it's not changing and fluctuating and that the time is ticking over and, you know, we're going the correct speeds and that I've not fixed my tractors in a while and <laughs> running out of fuel. All that stuff. Some people like to see it. So we'll quickly jump in with them. See where they're at. Yeah, they're gonna be good for an empty soon. So I'll get this chap to stop following. We'll do an empty. Just make sure I stop him following. There we go, sir. I'll get an empty done. And then we're gonna head over to the Deutz, because the Deutz has a job to do as well. Changed my mind and actually we've got a Lamborghini job. Because if we do this with a Lambo, we can then get the Massey out on a field, and then we can uh, probably jump in the Deutz, maybe at the end, and I can uh, do that bailing and that clearing off screen. But these are set up in a way that I should be able to get these pretty quick. I do like we've got a couple of them that are a little bit <laughs> weird. It's probably weirder that they're all in this order, isn't it? But we'll uh, quickly get these in, we'll get these back to the farm, and hopefully. That won't leave the harvester waiting too long for its next unload because I've tried to tried to get on that. So uh, let's try and get these in. Three more to go, and then this field is clear of bales. The Rostel Mash has finished the harvest. I positioned the uh, trailers, so hopefully that will have uh, unloaded itself and gone through. I think I got it right. Hoping I did. We'll have a look in a minute. But it's definitely finished. <laughs> so I'm thinking I did. If any of them are that out of place, that'll be the last ones that'll be there waiting to unload. I think I got that good. So we'll drop these ones off at the farm. We'll go check on that. Now we shouldn't need, obviously, the, the grain combine header. But we can keep the Rostel mash for the corn. I believe the corn should come in to harvest next month. We'll check that. Um, so yeah, we'll keep the Rostel mash for another month to get the corn in with. But we will need the money to lease a forage harvester and header. 
So that's that's not going to be cheap. That's probably going to set us back 20 grand. But it's going to get us all that. And that's going to get us silage to feed our cows. Hopefully. <laughs> we may even... I don't know. No, we won't, we won't try... Uh, will we try and do it today? No, we won't. We want to get our other mowers set up so they can start doing the uh, other meadows for hay. That's what we need to do as well today. That is another job on the list. I'll try and be efficient. And I know that I've got time in the coming months to uh, get the corn in and do the silage. Whereas we need to get the grass ticked over as soon as it's ready, really. That's what we need to do. So we'll just get these stacked up. As you can see, I got rid of the uh, the liquid silo here. This for f uh, filling up with uh, herbicide, I think. Show us what it was. Or liquid fertilizer, maybe. Anyway, it's something that I wasn't using. Uh, I got rid of it when I did the last update. And uh, I think we got about 40, 40 grand for it. But that means I can stack my bales there and here when we get lots to uh, to clear our fields with. Now I'm going to leave this here and we're going to check out what's going on. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I've done so much speaking the last week. And we're going to go and check in on the Rostel Mash. Turns out we did get it right. Parked up. Everything's here. Sorted. That's unloaded. We know it's unloaded because he's tucked away. He's popped the header bar out ready to be taken back but we can sell that I'm just going to put the fear on follow these are going to go into the grain grist and then we can see what that is all about it's like a sound alright 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 all right, all right. you're close enough cool testy testy It's not like you're going to keep up with me. Yeah, we'll get these over to our grist mill. And uh, see how that all works. Well, that follow me driver was an absolute a-hole. After ramming me, when I first set him up, he didn't follow me. He drove straight into a bush and got stuck. And then reset him again. And as he followed me out, drove into a tree. So uh, we've got a new driver. <laughs> and they're following Although then they're going to get dismissed for a bit. Because I'll do the unload. So you can just wait on the side. Because you're not capable of doing this. Because, well, I don't know how to do it for you. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it's not that hard to set up all the routes and do. But it's probably time consuming more of the thing. And... Uh, Time is not something I have a lot of. Right, oats. Let's try not to smack our trailer on the roof this time. Trailer on the roof. Oh, that's a little bit better. A little bit better. Ooh, nearly clipped it, but not. Right, we shall then... Right, I've uh, got rid of the bench so I can sort of loop around that. That works much better that way. So then we'll do this one. Get that emptied in. And then we can have a little look. We can turn it on anyway. Have a little look. It's not going to do much for a while. That'll be our empty pipe. Pipe, pipe, pipe. David pipe. Alright. Back we go. Sorry, I say random things sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Normal real me comes out as well. Not that I'm not real me, but... You know, you have to control yourself a little bit. You can't let all the crazy out. No one would watch. <laughs> well, they might. Perhaps more people would watch if I let the crazy out. Are right, you, sir, madam, whoever? Need you to nicely, please, follow that one. There we go. They're not smashing into me, so they should be all right. Now, me being me, I like to get out and find a trigger if I can. So. The cut beets and potato aren't a thing that we're worried about now. Grain grist is what we are on. So if we... It's not got a lot of oats, have we? Look, we got... Is that all we got? 27,000 litres. 
I don't know how far that will go for making grist. What do we want? Well, it's 56 a piece. That'll make a bit. That'll make a bit. All right, so we need to get a decent sized oat field set up. But that is now activated. It's got four litres already, just like that. Smashing it, mate. Okay, we now make grain grist. So I want to get these back to the farm, sort out the um, harvester. I'll uh, return the header, get the. I'll probably pick up the corn header, then we'll head back to the farm, and then we've got some baling to do. So I'm just going to park it up here for now. And uh, it's not uh, August, it's September we get the corn. So I've got it a little bit early, but since we went and returned, I thought we might as well pick it up. And uh, we've gone for the Olimag Drago GT 12F. I believe that's what it's called. Olimag Drago GT 12FR. God, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Um, nine metre working width. Seven miles an hour. So uh, that should be pretty good. I think what I really need to do... Let's get something set up on that grass. I think that's what we need to do. Right, we'll uh, sort the John Deere out. Everyone's still ticking over. I've got tractors in every gangway now. You cannot get in and out of this farm. <laughs> it's all blocked. That route in. <laughs> that route in and out. It's uh, a little bit crazy. Right, just need to take me weight off. Story of my life. <laughs> take some weight off, lad. There it is. Let's go get me mowers. And we, uh, this will be cut and dropped and uh, look to Ted. Because we're doing hay. Yeah, we'll do hay. I'm going to do the two that are ready to cut. They'll be hay. And then the one over there, the, the biggest one that's not yet ready, I'm going to wrap. That's the plan. That's how we're going to do it. Because we've got some hay. We just have the hay for the roughage. And I think buying hay is probably cheaper than if we ever had to buy any silage in. So that is my thought process. So we want to make sure this is coming out conditioned. So I am going to need... I think we need to get rid of that track. I've got a saved track. I need to save that for something else, hence why I've saved it. So we are on three headlands. Da -da 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 -da. Create the. Uh... There it is, over here. It's a nice big one. Lovely job. Escape, escape, escape. That's how we get out. Now, we want to make sure. With conditioner. Yeah. Now, oh, you have to do it for both of them, I think. Let's make sure. Yeah, see? Need to do it with conditioner. Right. See, now this time, we're not getting the uh, choice of doing all the other stuff. What, how is that where it wants to start? You know, you know that's going to drive into the bush. So we'll uh, see if I can't find the fold, unload everything. There it is. Back her up a little bit. It would definitely, not maybe, it would definitely clip stuff on there. So, let's now set our worker off. Hopefully they'll hug the outside. Lovely job. Happy with that. Right. You do your thing. Definitely conditioned. Conditioned to Ted. And uh, we shall go and get in the doits. So we are back bailing in the Deutz. I did have to quickly shoot off. 
get some fuel. We were nearly out. I did tidy up the tractors and whatnot uh, before I left because we're going to have to come in and out to collect the bales later and I don't want to have me weaving through everything. That would be a pain in the backside. What I should have done is put the Massey on some fertiliser over there but we've got a little while before we're going to be planting. Uh, I've had a little think and I'm not going to put canola back in the canola field this year and I'm going to put oats in there. It'll be a big old oat harvest. That'll get in the grist. And then we can do canola uh, next year and hopefully we've got enough of everything else to uh, to sustain us for a bit hopefully but i shall uh, crack on with some bailing uh, this will be this episode's time lapse probably it's the time now it's two o'clock it's getting through the day i think we've got quite a bit done already so i want to put my music on i'll find something for you guys and uh, yeah let's do it let's get it done So we're now on to baling the oak field and I want to leave a worker to do that, get that done, they should be fine and uh, we've got some more jobs to do for us and when I say us I mean more workers. We're going to set the Massey up next, this one can fertilise the uh, two fields we've done after one of them has been fertilised. The, uh, the larger one that we did at the end. I'm not sure if it is larger, but I, I just perceive it as larger. Anyway, that one is going to be dug up ready for potatoes as well. Because that's going to be done later on in the year. So we can dig that up. We'll uh, get the stones out. We'll lime it. That one will have a good little turnover on it. But the, uh, the other one, that'll just have some wheat chucked in, I think. So we'll uh, just get ready to turn that straight over. I think we. I did have it all planned out in my head about a week ago, two weeks ago, and as I've often mentioned, man's getting old, forgets things. But this does mean we get to have a little drive in our Massey. Now, as well as sorting the grass out more next time, I would probably want to get over and check in on the greenhouses. I think they're going to start to need some seeds. Um, the back ones are probably definitely going to need some manure they might run dry on that and there could even be a requirement of fertiliser now we would do this ourselves but it is quite a distance to keep going back so that's why we uh, tend to use a worker for the slurry and then once show us at the first go and then what we'll do is with the grass we'll do all or pretty much all the um, muck spreading we'll do the muck spreading on the grass meadows at the farm that'll be us we're going to jump back in the lambo and collect up the bales off the bottom field and then bales i'm going to sell we don't need them we'll collect them up and we'll run them down to the animal market now i'm I haven't forgotten, I'm fully aware, that we left a mower up on the top field. That finished ages ago. But I'll probably run all that fresh cut grass down sort of at night. That'll give my workers a chance to do whatever jobs I want them ticking over at night. I can then run that down, I can feed the cows. They'll have some feed in for the next few days. I just think that'll... Uh, that'll work better that way because it is a lot of hauling we haven't got a big um, forage wagon for bring well we have got it's a good sized forage wagon 
But there's just so much grass up there. So much grass. We, uh, we will do an episode where we do bring it back, but that'll probably be like an, an episode where that is all consuming of us clearing that field. So be prepared for a big time lapse when I tell you we're going to do that one. But it's up there, and it's like I say, it's the grass work in the background type thing again. Is this uh, a lot of it? I mean, there's a lot of baling and stuff going on, but this is so we can clear this field, and then I can put my worker in here to slurry spread it. I can then put a worker in here to maybe plough it or subsoil it, because we've got a subsoiler. And uh, yeah, we can then uh, get on with other things progressing us along. So we've not got planting next window, so it will be it will be grass work next time. It'll be a bit of tedding, uh, some wind rowing, uh, more baling, I'm afraid, to get the uh, the hay in. Have to bale it up. I really do keep meaning to purchase a bale pusher for when we do this. That'll stop them clipping through the wheels then. And pushed in this into place. I'll I'll get these stacked up on here and then we'll head down. You don't need to watch me uh, load this up again. We've loaded it up a couple of times, <laughs> I think in the last few episodes, so we'll do this. And then uh, yeah, see if we can make a penny. I think I might have to come along and put a little gate in here. Or buy up this field next to it and put a gate in there. Because when we come out to sell, we have to go all the way around the top. Whereas if we had a little gate in, we could nip through. Because uh, for a little while, I had a little brain fart and uh, I forgot which way to go and I drove out past that way. I was like, that's not the way. That's completely wrong. So we'll sell these. These will go in here. Sure they do. Do 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 do. Got tunes in my head now. Right. Unload, good sir. Unload. Let's have a little pan out. Let's have a different view. Should we look through the trees? The trees that changed on us. <laughs> Did they not sell there? Have I fucked that up? Excuse my language. Well, blow me. Let me check. <laughs> they go there. How did I... How did I forget that? Now what am I going to do? Might have to go get my wheel loader. Just so I can shift them. Can I push them? Oh... Oh, on, matey. Yes, I need to bring the... Uh... Oh, no, it's all right. It's going to ghost through. Good old giants. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this could be some of the best driving I've ever done. Eh, <laughs> eh, I don't know why I forgot that that was where the sell point was. We've sold so much straw, hay, and silage here. How could I forget? Right. Oh, one of them missed. Ten grand, though. Let's just uh, move that in there. Eleven grand in total. That's not bad. Right, put that back. I'll go back and grab the other few. There's not many left, so I'll go get them and we'll sell them. We'll sell them at the right spot. We only had four left on the other field, so I thought I'd quickly pop up here to the oak field, collect these ones. I don't think all of these are going to fit, so I'll get. We'll fill this up, we'll get this down, we'll get this lot sold, and then whatever's left, I'll just take back to the farm. Rather than driving all the way up here to drive all the way back down there again. And then after that, I think that might be us done for the day. This field, since we've already brought it, uh, this one will be dug up completely and stone picked. It's got little stones in it. So we've got stone picking to do, some ploughing to do, 
we've got a fair bit to do in the next well the next month so the next three days to get our fields ready to be planted on again and also we've got to get ready to uh, just drive that in uh, get ready to do our uh, May silage harvest so depending on how well that goes we may get a, a green silage cut in we may be able to do it properly because you should do it then really so how many are we going to have left? three? yeah I'll come back and collect them three off screen I can do that and get the Deutz to follow me back to the farm afterwards as well then so we'll fold this up we'll make our way back through spot <laughs> still oh dear overly confident things were going well <laughs> that's what happens you get confident you mess up and you look at absolute twonk right let's unload these bad boys got a nice tree in the way not that that makes any difference tree's still there on screen I just like to be visible Again, this will be another 10 grand, 10, 11 grand, so could push us up nicely towards that 300,000. Oh, big grand short, lovely. Loads of money. And again, I'll go up to the field, I'll collect those up, I shall bring everything back to the farm, I'll have a little tidy up, I'll bring the swad rower back, and overnight I'll try and collect up all that grass and put in the feed so that the cows are fed for the next few days because they had I had to check they had 9,000 litres this morning so they were pretty much hungry all day but that is it for another episode another busy one getting a lot done our little new little Massey over there just chugging on absolute monster love it uh, if you have enjoyed it give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn your bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there you know i like the comments you know i like the feedback i love the interaction also if you haven't yet come and join us in the discord there will be a link down there there'll be a link in the comments a link in the description a link on the home page trying to really work on that community thing here so uh, yeah you guys have yourselves a wonderful day and hopefully i'll see you again very soon Bye-bye.